Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Okay, uh, so uh, hi everyone. So basically, I will continue to explain. Do you hear my voice? Yeah. yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. so I uh, will continue to explain about my part, which is engineering problem. Uh, so basically, we started before, as uh, Sharif mentioned, we already discussed this uh, to uh, propose a few questions uh, in the group WhatsApp. And we decided to choose uh, question number two for this question uh, for us to solve. So this question is related to chemical engineering field and it is about a concentration of salt that present in the home milk soap maker. And the questions given us uh, some question, uh, some information, uh, which is at initial time of zero, the salt concentrations that present in the tank is 50 gram per liter. And I will brief about the questions a bit. Um, and the question one is to find uh, what is the concentration after three minutes. Uh, but for this question, uh, they ask us to use, uh, use using Euler's method with a step size of 1.5. But we Change discussed it. before that we want to change the uh, the step size to 0 0.1, right? So, yes. because we want to achieve more accurate approximation. 
uh, uh, the next is uh, I think the same like the uh, Sharif told us before that how to solve this question we need to find the numerical solution by fill up all the tables in the Excel and find the end of the value uh, for the concentration and then we find the analytical solution by using uh, either these three type of methods and then we compare the values and we determine the errors by using the graph mm. so i think that's all for me yeah uh, yeah that is for just for presentation today Okay. Yes, yes. Ah, yeah. Ah. Ah, yeah. Ah, this one from a numerical solution. Can you see that graph? Ah? Can you see the table? Yes. yes. Okay. Okay, from the question they give, they given that uh, the, the question they give is dx over dt is 37.5 minus 3.5x. So they give initial uh, value of x is 50, then they give t equals to 0. And we decided the step size will be 0 0.1. Yep. So from there, we, I, I did a, a table using uh, Excel, which is t is, 0, uh, t is from 0 to 3, which the step size is 0 0.1. And I obtained the x value which is more, uh, I think, more uh, approximately accurate. So yeah, there won't be less, there will be less error. Yeah. Oh. 1.5. 1.5. 1.5. Huh. Yeah, 720. Yeah. yeah. Uh, nothing. That's all. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. Okay. But I want to share my screen. Okay, for the analytical solution, I use a separable method uh, to solve our first order differential equation that we got from the problem. And we also given the initial value, which is x equals to 50 at a time equals to zero. The first step is we need to rearrange the uh, differential equation so that we can integrate it both sides. And for the left side, I use a substitution method. And for the right side, we can just directly integrate it, which is equals to t. And then after we integrate both sides, we get this equation right here. And with, uh, in my case, I want to make the x variable on the left side alone so that we can solve our problem easier with the equation. And then we rearrange some more and simplify the equation, then we get this equation right here and then we uh, we still can solve our problem yet because we got one unknown uh, that's when we can substitute our initial equation uh, initial value which is x equals to 50 and t equals to 0 into our equation right here and then we get the value of a which is equals to negative 137.2 and then we can finally use the equation to solve our problem uh, which is when the t is equals to three minutes, and the sub concentration is x equals to ten point seven one five three six five one four g over l. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Is that the near to the table. Numerical. Ah, uh, near to the numerical method. Yes. Yeah, it's the 
it's really big different Right, yeah. Yeah. Mm. Mm. Yes, I went Okay. Okay, okay. No. No, so far. Yeah, not really. Discuss. Yep. Ah, uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Okay, bye. Okay, see ya. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.